Hi, what's up, you go to see and come here to hear. I've got my bleaching pads on, so you know what time it is. If you're on a wig, you may have, or you're going to in the future, bleach your wigs. So I'm going to be comparing the two most common methods to find out which one is the best for you. I'm just sectioning the hair because each section will be for each method. And just like with any experiment, you can only have one variable, which in this case is the bleaching method. So I'll be keeping the bleaching time or the developing time to 20 minutes for each method and the same mixture will be used which is 200 ml of 40 volume developer mixed in with five heaped tablespoons of bleach and the first part of the video we'll just be watching and learning I'll, I'll be taking you through each method the second part of the video that's where I'll be coming in with my conclusion my final thoughts and telling you which one would be the best method Now, two days later, I've let the hair air dry, and my results are I'm not really seeing much of a difference between the two methods. So, this is this, um, this side I did the normal bleaching method where I went in line by line and applied the bleach, and then I did this. Um, bleach bath water method over here i'm not really seeing much of a difference between these two i will say though the only difference that i'm seeing is that there are some parts with this bleach bath method where if you can see it's still reddish the bleach didn't get to this area and wasn't able to lift out or lift up the color whereas with the traditional method because i made sure and i intentionally made sure that every area is covered with bleach you can see there's no area let me just untie it there's no area where it's not where it's not bleached but one thing I will say though with the bleach bath method those areas where the bleach did get to the results are comparable to the normal traditional um, bleaching method so I would say both methods work it's it's up to you which one you want to do obviously I would go for the traditional method if I have more time and if I want um, every section thoroughly bleached whereas with the bleach bath method there's that chance that there might be some areas where the bleach doesn't reach or get to sufficiently so i would say the solution for a bleach bath method if you really want to get proper real thorough results where the entire hair is bleached 
my um, recommendation and which is what I'm going to be doing uh, going forth, especially if I don't have a lot of time to bleach my um, wigs and I have a lot of wigs to bleach, what I will do is I will increase my volume. So the volume of water, the volume of the bleach, the volume of um, the developer. So you just add more, increase the volume. Make sure that the, 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 the wig is 100% submerged and covered by the water, the bleach, and the method. I mean, the, the water, the bleach, and the developer, so that entire mixture entirely covers up the hair. And then as you're soaking it in, comb through the hair. Comb through the hair. And I would definitely say this method does need um, a longer... Um, Sitting time, I don't know what the correct word is, what the right jargon is, but you just need to um, have the bleach in the hair for, for a bit longer, I believe, than with the, the traditional method. Um, and that's just purely to ensure that the mixture gets to every area of the hair. You're not physically painting it on to every section of stone. Of, of, of hair or every strand of hair like with the traditional method here so it would be of your advantage to leave it a bit longer when you're doing the, the bleach bath but other than that I don't really see a difference between the two it's a matter of time it's a matter of preference I have listed what you can do to really level up your water your bleach bathing water bath whatever method color bath no color bath <laughs> uh, bleach bath um, water bath um, um, technique so if you want to level it up and avoid the mistakes that i made increase the volume of your mixture leave it in for a bit longer make sure um, that the entire mixture covers up your hair occasionally while it's sitting in the bleach come through with your comb and make sure that um, the mixture is getting to every section of the hair especially the deeper sections because you can see this is like those inside sections where it, the bleach to get to it so the color it, it, it's still there it's not lifted up but yeah i really hope you found a value in uh, today's video you guys if you did let me know by clicking on the thumbs up button and i'll catch you again next week sunday until then i'm gonna leave you and love you